Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I reset my life count because I went back to my save file to actually copy the save rather than using save states between parts because I want to show you something a little bit later but I'm not gonna tell you what it is until the time comes because you know spoilers and all. <laughs> so here we are at 119 stars. This, as you might have guessed, is the final part of the walkthrough. Just one area, one star, one final boss, and it'll be up. And it'll be it. And now the endless stairs are no longer endless because we got over 70 stars. Here we are. The final area. Let's go. No, I said let's go. Dang it, Mario. <laughs> This is Bowser in the Sky, and we start out on an arrow that's kind of directing us in the correct way, even though that's kind of obvious if you think about... What the heck happened to my control stick? <laughs> that, that, I drifted on my own there. No joke, that actually happened on its own. That's not something that I would typically do, because all I do when I want to stop is I release the control stick like that, and then I stop. That was tremendously weird. <laughs> Anyway, and like the other Bowser levels, this is a red coin hunt of sorts. So, get collecting. Leave a little space between the box and this edge so it's easier easier to get up here because you can't push the box when you're jumping up towards the ledge, obviously. Uh, this thing tends to shift from side to side, so just jump right down the center. No problem whatsoever. Alright, got some Goombas around the turn that are going to be no threat whatsoever to anyone who has come this far in the game. <laughs> this has a lot of one-ups in it, probably <clears throat> probably because it's the final area of the game. <laughs> Micro Piranha Plant. Um, down here is one of two coins that people tend to miss. If you go down in this area, you're like, well, there's nothing here except some flame orbs and... Uh, wait, isn't... I think there's supposed to be a Chukya here, actually. Well, anyway, look at that, right along the edge. This little red coin hanging out on this platform. I think, I think these uh, gold coins here are supposed to be the indicators of where this red coin is, but come on! Seriously, who's gonna think of this on their first run through? Oh, jeez. <laughs> anyway, that's coin number three. I guess I should, I guess I could collect the, no, 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 do not glitch. Pulse stereo. <laughs> See, these these platforms react to gravity properly, that's why they need those posts to hold them together. <sighs> Just that rainbow ride, I swear. <laughs> um, over here, you can do a neat little shortcut uh, if you backflip onto the upper platform, but that's a pretty obvious shortcut. I'm gonna show you what's over here anyway, just for the fun of it. There is a womp, which you can hide from in here. <laughs> It can't hurt you whatsoever when you're down there. Uh, I'm gonna glitch kill it, otherwise it's rather difficult to kill this womp. Watch us. I don't think I showed you this glitch before. When he's about to slam... <laughs> I fail on the glitch. When he's about to slam down on you, do a ground pound in midair and... Whoops. Man, my control stick is drifting. That's not good. <laughs> Maybe I have to clean it or something. Uh, when, it, when it's slamming down on you, just do a ground pound. Whoops, missed that jump. This, this place is definitely a little more challenging than the other side, but not too much more challenging. Oh, there's the Chucky. Yeah, maybe it fell down from up there. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes see the Chucky yeah up or down below, and... Wow, this is clearly the hardest jump in the game right here, guys. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the, the Chucky yeah because it's gonna waste more time than is necessary. Let's get up the staircase before it collapses, though it's not that dangerous if it does collapse because you just fall down onto the platforms below, but it would waste time as well. Beware of the flamethrower! Alright, control stick, don't drift on me here. Because I got this coin to work on, there we go. And over here, what I like to do is just jump over them, ground palm, just to get past them a lot easier. Beware of the micro... piranha plant. <laughs> Uh, tricky red coin coming up here. Uh, right up there. Okay, what you want to do here is jump up 
to it while the platform is still moving forward so that you have something like as a way to catch yourself if you have issues. Uh, that pole up there is like a shortcut if you dare to try getting up there, but if you do, you're going to miss that red coin, so you don't want to do that. <laughs> Unless you're not going for 100%, of course. Alright, going up. The Bowser stages are always very vertical. Uh, little 7th red coin, and... Oh, no, 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 no! I failed at the long jump at the most critical time that I needed it. <laughs> That wasn't at the fault of my control stick because I was using, you know, buttons to do that, but... <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this is clearly not my parts. Which is unfortunate because this is the final parts. I would hope to finish with a bang or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to go like that and then jump on the moving platform. There we go. Alright, the eighth red coin. This is a red coin that a lot of people seem to miss. Uh, because it is a really, really obscure location. You'll see why once I get to the point. Alright. Here we are. The last a home stretch. Right here. Through the field of Goombas. Oh, and there's a one up over there. But you might be wondering, where where is that last red coin? I mean, you, you would look all around the level, you wouldn't find it. Well, did you look? Under the stairs? Yeah, it's actually over there. Another obscure location for the red coin. It's not hard to get once you know where it is, but still. <laughs> there you go. The final star in the game. Whew. And also, whew. <laughs> grab that sucker. Yes! 120 stars. Wow! Another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. Do you want to save? You bet! So here we are. Let's go inside the pipe and hear the freaking awesome music! Mario, you again. Well, that's just fine. I've been looking for something to fry with my fire breath. Your star power is useless against me. Your friends are all trapped within the walls. And you'll never see the princess again. <laughs> we'll see about that. So this is the final battle. And Bowser's got some new attacks to run me over with. <laughs> First, I'm just gonna get a hit off from him right here. As long as I have the opportunity, there's you actually actually have to hit him three times in this time. Uh, this time, so make sure you have mastered your Bowser flinging progress. Oh uh, shoot, I'm a little too far away from the bomb to be comfortable. Wait, actually, you know what I should do? I should let him do some attacks just so that you can see what he has in store for you in this final bolt. Uh, you'll notice he's got this charge attack. I don't think. He did that in other ones, unless I'm forgetting, because my memory's kind of bad. <laughs> if you get, if you lead him towards the edge of the arena, you can get him to teeter along the edge of it, and that'll give you an opportunity to grab his tail, which is probably the best way to do it. Uh, he's got this double ring jump attack, and these electrify you if they hit you, so don't let that happen if you can help it. Also, don't be near him when you do that, because it'll probably be tricky to get around the rings. Uh, if you throw him off the edge, the consequences are a little bit more brutal than they would be otherwise. Watch us. What? He didn't... Oh, he must have landed on a solid part of the arena. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna have to show it again. <laughs> okay, um, this, this arena has the potential to break into pieces up until a certain point. And, uh, watch. You'll see in just a sec here. It's... There we go. See that? He carves pieces out of the arena with his jumps like that. And it'll eventually turn into a star shape. Anyway, let's try and get... Oh, I'm not near a bomb! Why? I thought it was next to... I must have lost track of my location. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> Alright, after the second hit, get to the center of the arena. Because he's going to destroy 
the whole thing. Well, not quite. He's gonna destroy all the pieces that can be broke off of it. And you're left with this star. And now what you have to do is throw Bowser to a bomb from a distance. So I really hope you've mastered the throwing. Also beware of those blue flames. They tend to shoot towards you for some reason. Alright. This could very well be the last hit right here. Maybe. <laughs> this is a pretty long distance. And wow, I did not have enough speed whatsoever. I was spinning it pretty fast too. Maybe I was spinning it too fast. Like, you can actually spin the stick too fast for it to register on the spin, so it's something that I've got to kind of get used to. Ah, pain! Nope. Aha! It's also a good idea to grab Bowser when he's next to the edge of a star. Uh, like one of the tips of the star, just because it makes him teeter along the edge when he's running towards you! Yeah! There's the last hit! And the game is over! No! You've really beaten me this time, Mario. I can't stand losing to you. My troops, worthless. They've turned over all the power stars. What? There are 120 in all? Amazing! There are some in the, in the castle that I missed! <laughs> now I see peace returning to the world. Oh, I really hate that. I can't watch. I'm out of here. Just you wait until next time. Until then, keep that control stick smoking. <laughs> so Bowser actually compliments you and you get all 120 stars. The dialogue is different when you don't have all the stars, and that's something that, that I'm going to be showing you a little bit later on in this part, which is why I copied my save file early on. Anyway, let's grab the last star and finish this game. And a wing cap appears out of nowhere. Mario does a dance. Flies through the air to celebrate... with awesome music accompanying him. Woo! And we're outside the castle. All right, use the power of the stars to save Peach. There she is. Finally! <sighs> I came for cake, but I knew. I knew there was something else that she wanted out of me. To the bedroom! Well, once she floats down here. Wait, where did those toads come from? They just popped out of nowhere. Maybe they, they appeared out of the walls of the castle too, because they were saved as well. But they weren't in the air before. Mario. Hey, that's my line. The power of the stars is restored to the castle. I'm supposed to do the girl voice. Well, girls' voices, I mean. <laughs> and it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special for Oh yeah, force some with the toads. Wait, what? I think the toads are... Let's bake a delicious cake. For Mario. Oh yeah. Definitely a euphemism. Mario. Bedroom? Oh! I think the toads are blushing after my foursome comment. If you notice that on their faces. And it leads over to the credits. As I always say, I did not make the game these awesome people did, I just made the walkthrough to help you out, as well as entertain you. Oh, this was a fun one, but man, it has taken a lot of work. <laughs> Between the menu videos and stuff like that, and just the general hard gameplay. Although I think I did a pretty decent job on it overall. And uh, notice this penguin? It looks a little fatter than it used to, huh? Yeah, I'll be showing you that a little bit later. <laughs> if you get all 120 stars, that penguin, penguin at Cool Cool Mountain will become a lot chunkier and will have a different dialogue once you go 
and do the penguin race back at that level. I'll be doing that after the credits, obviously. Uh, following a couple of other things. Gotta love how they did a little camera flyby of all the areas of the game. It's a nice touch. Volcano? Not as threatening as it looks. <laughs> I mean, there are some tricky platforms, platforming segments in it, but they're all pretty basic overall. This game is actually um, a rather basic platforming, uh, like, in structure, but it is like one of the first uh, good 3D platformers out there, so this, this game pretty much set the standard for future platforming games. It does lack a bit of polish, as you've seen in certain cases, but, well... It's fine, it definitely has its charm, and it's still a great game. Just a couple issues with the camera sometimes, and... <laughs> By the way, this uh, credits music, pretty dang awesome as well. When you get here, you'll definitely enjoy the song. But uh, as for now, you'll have to tolerate my talking over it. Because <laughs> I have much to comment on, as I usually do. Ah, uh, rainbow ride with the, the ship that somehow is floating in midair with a mere six wings. That place, the physics of that place is completely broke. <laughs> you know, well, what, come to think of it, if you, if you think back at TikTok clock, what kind of clock is that anyway? I mean, the hands are sideways while the pendulums are, you know, the normal way with gravity. So... Is it like a clock that you can walk around in that you can tell the time by climbing the levels and stuff like that? And what about Tiny Huge Island? Maybe, just maybe, I have a theory here, maybe you're actually changing sizes yourself, and you're not actually changing the size of the island. Ah! Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Wave goodbye to Mario and friends. What? Thank you so much for playing my game. It really was a cake. No bedroom shenanigans whatsoever. You're serious. I collected 120 stars and saved you, and all I got was a cake. Really? Really? Unbelievable! Just unbelievable! Another time Mario rescues the princess, gets nothing out of it but a kiss and cake. <sighs> anyway, it's time for some extras! It's me, Mario! So, let's go back to the title screen. Oh, wait, 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 what is this? This isn't a title screen! Oh! Well, it kind of is a title screen, because you can press start, but actually, you can watch Mario watch a silvery star, and then another star appears! And it makes him cross-eyed. <laughs> and eventually he becomes rather dizzy. And, oh, poor Mario, he just never can catch a break now, can he? <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to show you here is, he also follows your hand, but more importantly, you can grab parts of his face and stretch them around and make them spring back, but if you hold the Z button, wait, not the Z button, is it the R button? Yes, it's the R button, okay, I thought it was the Z button for a second there. You can stretch them around and hold them in place like so, yeah. oh jeez, his eyeball is out of the socket, or at least his pupil is. This, this is not looking too good for Mario. First. No pussy from the princess. Now he's being distorted. This is just a disaster zone for him. Where's his other ear? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, having trouble grabbing the ear. There we go. Young man, you are going straight to your bedroom. And when he released the R button, he goes back to normal. <laughs> All right, let's resume the 120 star save file here. And. There's a little something for us out in this courtyard here. What I'm gonna do is, would you look at this? After you get 120 stars, this opens up, and there's a cannon inside. Yeah, an actual can cannon that you don't have to unlock with a bomb. 
Maybe it's because of the power of the stars. Anyway, shoot yourself up to the roof. And you'll find a bunch of one-ups. But more importantly, you'll find Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi. He's actually in this game. He's not really you. It has been so long since our last adventure. Well, maybe I should be doing Yoshi sounds or something like that. No, I really suck at Yoshi sounds. <laughs> He told me that I might see you if I waited here, but I just about given up hope. Is it true? Have you really beaten Mauser and restored the stars to the castle? Why, yes I did. And saved the princess? I knew you could do it! Now I have a very special message for you. Thanks for playing Super Mario 64! This is the end of the game, but not the end of the fun! We want you to keep on playing, so we have a little something for you. We hope that you like it. Enjoy the Super Mario 64 team. So maybe Yoshi wasn't actually saying that all, all along, so maybe my voice was completely off what a dinosaur would sound like, and his mouth is kind of lacking some redness. And your lives go all the way up to the max. There's also something else you're gifted with here, which I'm going to show you shortly. And bye bye Yoshi. <laughs> he vanishes in distance. There's also a wing cap up here which you can use to fly around the place. When you combine it with the cannon, you can see even more of the the castle than you've ever seen before. So let's just do a little. That's not exactly what I was trying to do, but <laughs> that is a certain way to get down here, I suppose. So let's fly around the castle now. I'll go up this way. And, and yeah, you, you are not normally able to see this unless you use the wing cap and fly around the area with it. Now, you've got a uh, certain other gift that you were gifted with by Yoshi, or maybe it was the Super Mario 64 team, in that uh, your triple jump has been upgraded. When you are in the middle of your triple jump, you'll find that you do not take any damage from it. And when is this cap going to run out anyway? <laughs> Come on, run out cap. I need to show the triple jump, the upgraded triple jump. Maybe I should just go inside the castle to reset the the cap. Because if I do the triple jump, I'm just going to fly in the air and that's going to be counterproductive. Oh, okay, here we go. So watch us. Notice that you're all sparkly and you bounce when you hit the ground. When you're, when you're in that triple jump, you're completely invincible, even to fall damage. Just watch this. Whoa! See that? Normally you would take damage from that, and you, Mario even screamed as if he was going to take damage from that, but he didn't because he was in the, the invincible triple jump. So you've actually got an upgrade to your move by seeing Yoshi up there. Or, well, getting it from the Super Mario 64 team. <laughs> Anyway, let's go inside the castle now and do some other stuff. Starting with a uh, cool, cool mountains penguin race, because as I said before, the the penguin race has um, a little upgrade to it, and by upgrade I mean in weight. <laughs> so cool, cool mountain. Let's go and little wait, wait, wait. Pink, big penguin race. This is the one. Now go inside the cabin and. Look who's chunkier! <laughs> and uh, let's go race the giant penguin. <laughs> and go, 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 go. So he's a little bit bigger. And I also think he's a little bit harder as a result of that because you have oh geez. Oh no, don't push me off the edge, please. I very much appreciate that. You still can't use the shortcut. Oh, it's very hard to get past him though on certain sections. Oh, I failed! <laughs> because you have to get on the side of him and he might push you off the edge or you might bump off him into the black death. But for the sake of the walkthrough, I must, I must defeat him one last time in his upgraded form and get the star. And so yeah, he even describes why he's out of shape, because he hasn't been uh, sledding the whole way. <laughs> I mean, sledding for a while. 
That's why he challenges you to a race here to try and get back in shape. He's getting back into his sledding habits to regain his penguin posture. Oh! Well, maybe not posture, penguin proportions. That's the word I'm thinking of. Oh, 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 oh no! How dare you bump me off the edge! <laughs> So yeah, as you can tell, this race is quite a bit more difficult than it was before. Alright, I still can't use the shortcut though, but I will defeat him. Maybe because he's got more weight on his side, he's got more momentum due to, uh, you know, a physics momentum, and yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Saturday AM Sonic reference. I'm just gonna try and press forward the whole way and see how effective it'll be. Oh, he's still managing to get past me. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try and use the usual opportunities to get past them rather than. Try oh no no no! Oh, I can't hit that edge like that. I lose control. I need to cut the corner because if I swing wide, I might fly off the edge because the, the, the way that thing is sloped. This is clearly the hardest thing in the game, guys. <laughs> Can't believe I'm having this much issue with the Penguin Race rematch, but that's how things are going, I suppose. Maybe it's a good thing that I got uh, 100 lives. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Race number four. Oh, jeez! Oh, I almost got pushed off there. Maybe I should let him stay ahead of me, because I, I can do that to an extent up until a certain point. Yeah, this is this is kind of working for me, just as long as I survive the points up until I can cut ahead, because I need to get ahead before we get to this right here. There we go. That's what happens when you're careful. See what being careful entails, uh, entitles you to do? Maybe it isn't tail, sorry. <laughs> Alright, what do you have to say for yourself? So what did you do? Make another record that beat my record from before? And there's a star that's not actually a star <laughs> that you can collect. Yeah, that, it's a completely optional race uh, that you can do just for the fun of it. There we go. And there's a couple of other little tiny scraps that I'd like to show you, starting now. Believe it or not, inside the ancient pyramid is a little teeny tiny warp right there that you might come across by mistake. It seems to be um, a one-way warp though, so yeah, it's one of the... Uh, so I made a mistake before in thinking that all warps were... Uh, two ways because this one is indeed a one-way warp and that you can't use this to get over there and vice versa I guess that's to get that one up over there, but it's not really all that necessary because you can just do This to get it. So it's just there as like a little oh geez whoopsie as a little Easter egg of sorts for you to find I guess anyway next spot Remember that I pointed out a certain island that has a certain pole on it with a certain sign well I didn't show what's up there now, did I? The way that I like to get up there is to use the Shy Guy, if at all possible, but that can be a little bit tricky to do. I'd like to clear the area first to, uh, oopsie. Now, by the way, also, if uh, Koopa loses its shell, it'll actually jump back in the shell eventually if you don't kill the Koopa. Watch it, watch it, yeah! <laughs> nice little touch by the game designers there. Anyway, I'm going to use the Shy Guy, and actually, ah, I should kill the Lakitu. Lakitu's are definitely a pain. Oh, jeez. I should probably also show myself getting killed by the Bubba over there, shouldn't I? Ah! Good thing I'm practically invincible in water because I just keep recovering my health. <laughs> oh, dang it. Nope, don't want to kill the shy guy. Come on, Lakitu. Work with me here. There we go. Alright, those spinies, they aren't really going to be much of a big deal. Though they do really do look like very sharp, like very sharp spines on there. Alright, I just want it to be ahead of me, like towards the island. And it should give me enough lift to reach the island. Oh, seriously? That's just sad. I didn't make it after all that work. You know what? As long as I'm here. Hey, Bubba. <laughs> yep, it's a one-hit kill. Alright, let's try that shy guy again. 
I'm just gonna run my way down to the huge side of the island. <laughs> so, I guess it doesn't really matter which, which star I choose now, does it? Because all I want to do is show you what's over on top of the little post island. Ah, this is so tricky to do. You can shoot up there with the cannon, but don't count on it. <laughs> I really would not count on you being able to shoot up on the can- I mean, using the cannon to get up there. The chances of you doing so are slim to none because of how small the island is, is and how much drift you have to land on it. Like, you might be able to touch the island, but the chances of you actually stopping on the island are very slim. Ah, oh, missed it. Gotta be fairly close to the water's edge because, as you've seen, I, I came up a little bit short on my jump before. Ah, oh, come on. Just need to be right. So that wouldn't be a bad spot. Shy guy, shy guy. Dip, dip. Oh, I mean to fall in the water. Yeah, I think my control stick really is drifting on this thing. Maybe I have to clean it or reset it or something like that. All right, come on. Yeah, it's just drifting a little bit in the right direction because it's like it's getting stuck in that direction. Come on. Yeah. Fine, kill me again. I want to really feed the fish today. That was my true plan. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> See, it's not it's not well known, but Mario actually has a lot of bodies. When you know, you know, the more lives you have, the more bodies you have. So he can sacrifice a few to the fish just to feed them. It's all a part of his plan to keep the wildlife going. Ah, that little island. Of all things to have trouble with, it's a little island. <laughs> Whee! Alright, shy guy. Wait, you're in good position, aren't you? Yes! And I missed the island completely. I can't believe I managed to do that. I think I was actually too close to the island that time because I was having issues controlling myself. And yeah, Bubba will hurt you when it touches you as well. <sighs> nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Num num. What, what the heck? <laughs> I have never had so many issues. Just. There we go. <laughs> In fact, that's supposed to go out of your way to eat you if it sees you. Maybe it didn't see me. That was the, the whole issue of the thing. Alright. I've got to get this jump eventually, right? I mean, it's. <laughs> It seems like something that's possible. No, I've done it before, I know. Wow, I really flew there. <laughs> Alright, let's get the shy guy down here. Dive down, get him behind. And then... Alright, let's get the camera oriented. There we go! All this for just a single signpost. And there's actually nothing here, too, other than this signpost. I take no responsibility whatsoever for those who get dizzy and pass out from running around this post. You won't actually pass out from running around this post, but this is a hint that other posts might have something if you run around them. But as you can tell, this post actually doesn't have anything. So it's pointless to be up here at all. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> it's unbelievable, I swear. Alright, there's something else that I would like to show you in this level. And it involves me going... Actually, you know what would be faster? Hey, you. Yeah, you. I fed you a bunch of times already today. <sighs> Why? I can't even get eaten by the fish. This is not my part. Hey, come on. I'm very, very tasty. What? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe because it's wearing sunglasses, it has issues seeing. That, that's the whole issue. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what I wanted to show you over here is... Um, if you recall, we had to go to a little island here on Five Itty, <clears throat> five itty Bitty Secrets. Uh, once you hit a switch over here... This is... it leads over to the Itty Bitty Island. And I'm just go take a run down over there. The reason why I want to do so is because... See that coin at the corner? This is a warp that I forgot to show you before. Come on, control stick, don't mess with me here. There we go. And this is another one-way warp. At least I think it's another, another one-way warp. 
Yep. Because that would be way, way too... Um, it would be way too easy to get to that star, you know, without using that switch otherwise. Oh, and also, you can walk right over the fences. The fences mean nothing to giant Mario, or I should say, regular-sized Mario in Tiny Island. <laughs> anyway, um... Here's one thing left that I have to show you, which is the very last bit of Bowser's dialogue that I didn't show if you have 119 stars. So, I gotta reset the game, and I'll show you Bowser after he's beaten. Look at that drifting control stick. Yeah, I definitely gotta clean this a little bit because it's kind of stuck. <laughs> Final hits with 119 stars. Yeah! And here's the different dialogue. No, it can't be. You really beaten me, Mario. I gave those troops power, but now it's fading away. Ah, oh, I can see peace returning to the world. I can't stand it. Hmm, it's not over yet. Come on, troops, let's watch the ending together. And Bowser broke the third one. For fourth wall. <laughs> Dang it, Bowser! You're gonna cause a universal implosion. <sighs> well, anyway, with that, I can finally finish off the walkthrough because I don't think there's anything else I need to show here. So let's watch him fly into the sky one last time. I hope you enjoy this walkthrough, and I will see you in the next walkthrough. Ah!